Hi, this is Mr. T with a tutorial on compound interest. Compound interest is a special form of exponential growth. We use different terminology from banking, but it's the same thing. Y in our uh, exponential growth model, Y equals AB to the X. In this compound interest, Y is the final amount is represented by letter A. Our initial amount in the general formula, little a, is represented by a P here, which stands for principal. That's the amount that you invest. We have an expression for our B to calculate our uh, interest rate uh, based on how many times interest is paid per year. In compound interest, the interest is not only paid once per year, but is paid on different intervals depending on the banks. So we have to adjust the interest rate to affect that. The uh, x for the exponent is now a calculation of n times t because we have to calculate, say, the number of months or the number of days or the number of years. So this is the formula. We'll show applying that to a sample problem on the next slide. So in our problem here, we're going to be, be depositing $2,000. So that's our principal. So that's our p. Uh, we've got a 5% annual interest rate, so R is going to be 0 0.05. Our number of years is T. And, and here we're going to do potentially different uh, compounding intervals, but let's do monthly. So a monthly N is equal to 12 because there are 12 months per year. So to calculate the balance we would have, we have the amount equals our principal, which is $2,000, times... 1 plus r, which is 0 0.05, divided by our n, which in this case is 12. And we have to raise that to the 12 times our t, which is 5. Now when we calculate that, we have to be careful to enter that. So I'm going to bring up here a calculator to show how we would enter it. So as you can see, I've entered it into a graphing calculator. Here's our principal. We need to put the expression here in a parenthesis. But the key thing is our exponent, this 12 times 5, must be in a parenthesis. Otherwise, due to the order of operations, the calculator is going to raise the amount to 12 and then multiply that whole answer by 5 and give you the wrong thing. So our particular problem, we have here that our bank account has 25 $2,566, and I don't remember the cents before it disappeared. After uh, This is after five years. If we wanted to redo this problem with, say, quarterly, then 12 would be replaced with 4, because there's 4 quarters per year, and 12 here would be 4. If we were doing daily, tw this would become 365, and this would be 365. Today in class, we learned about a new irrational number called E. We approximated its value in class as of being 2.718, but it's an irrational number, so we can't write an exact value as a decimal number. We use the number E to do what's called continuously compounded interest. So we are essentially inter paying interest every nanosecond as fast as we can. So we can see here that N is essentially infinity our number of compounding intervals. We then get a simpler formula here called, I call it the PERT formula. Final amount equals the principal times E, that's again a number, not a variable, times the rate times time. So let's use that to uh, solve a problem. So this is the same problem we just did a minute ago. We have still our principal of 2000, same interest rate, but this time it says it's compounded continuously. That's the trigger to know that we're going to use our PERT formula. So for this formula, our principal was 2000 E, and we we're going to raise that to the 0 0.05 times 5 power, and we'll calculate that. Just one second. Okay, I've brought my uh, graphing calculator on the screen here, and I've entered right here our uh, formula. Notice again, it's important that the exponent be in parentheses. And we use the e to the x button, which is over top of the ln button to get that. And when you calculate that, we get 2,568 and 5 cents. You can see we get a little bit more than when we did it monthly. I hope this helps.